Welcome to the latest installment of DM Answers. Today I'll be talking about how we can parse text strings and pick off values so that we can data mine those values later on. So this is going to be primarily talking about data preparation today, so the data preparation phase of the CRISP DM model. Okay, so the first method I'm going to use is using a regular expression. And so you can see right here, um, we dimension a regular expression and then we have a pattern that we are looking for and this is not necessarily the only way you can do this um, if you have other suggestions feel free to to comment um, what you think the regular expression should be but this one will work for the purposes of um, this demonstration um, this is the text string over here so you basically have um, a number which demonstrates a position and I'm not necessarily going to tell you what the, this is um, but it um, in detail but this is a position there's an equal sign and then a value that's associated with that position. And you have a comma separated and then this can go up, you know, in this case, this is fake data that I've created and I've just copied this down to kind of give a, um, a fake data set that's on the scale of what would be in real life for the problem I'm working on. Okay, so, and this goes up to a position of 50 in this case, and then there's 10,000 of these cases. Okay, so we're going to pick off the values using this regular expression. And then once we have that um, match collection, which is um, created right here, where you set the max match collection to the regular expression executing on the string, which you um, set equal to the cell there. And then it's going to write that to a new spreadsheet, um, S2, and it's going to set the cell equal to the item in the match collection. So um, we'll see how long it takes to iterate through this. Um, I'll go ahead and click play. So you can see here, here's the spreadsheet being collected. And if I uh, scroll down, um, it hasn't made it that far yet. It's to like about row 300. Um, there it goes. So we'll just let that proceed. And then I'll talk a little bit more about this. Um, what we I've done here is I put a start time in um, at the beginning of the macro. And then there's also... Um, a message box that will pop up at the end that will subtract the end time after the loop has been completed to um, from the start time and then it's going to multiply that's going to be in days in a frac or like a decimal representation of days and then I just multiply that by 24 because there's 24 hours in a day and then 60 minutes in an hour and then 60 seconds in um, a minute and that will give it to me the answer in seconds so we'll see how long this takes. Um, we can actually scroll down here and see how far we've gotten. Um, it's still probably a little more than halfway through, so up to about 6,000. So we'll continue to talk here for a few more minutes. Um, just to realize, I think that um, these match collections do not take very long to execute. Like if you took this for loop out and looked, looked how long it took to make the match collections, that's not where the the most of the time is taking. The most of the time is taking, um, taken in this for loop where you're transferring the the items from the match collection into the cells. So um, that's why we're going to use this other method, the, uh, the macro for the split string, um, to see if that could be um, a better way, a more efficient way. To, okay, so we just got 108 seconds in this case. Um, I've seen this be um, around 90 seconds. Um, other times it's up around, I've seen 113, now I've seen 108. So it varies, you know, from time to time based on the performance of the computer at that, that moment. Um, but it's taking um, on the order of between a minute and a half and two minutes. Okay, so I'm going ahead and close this, this spreadsheet that was created. And then I'm going to go down here and use this, or demonstrate what happens with the split string. Uh, it has a similar type of structure where we click the start time at the beginning. Um, you create a new spreadsheet and then um, you dimension um, a array that you're going to um, put the values into. I also put this split list, which is a, a variant. Um, this is where you the results of the split are going to go into this. 
Okay, so let me just show you how that works. So we have a for loop that goes through the different cases, which is the dement or the counter for i. And then we have the value string, which is the string over here um, in spreadsheet one. And then we're going to use um, split. We're going to split that value string um, using the delimiter of the comma. And then those results are going to be put in the split list. Okay, and then the values in the array are going to be, um, we're going to use this mid function. So mid in um, VB is similar to what um, if you have a substring. And depending on which version, so um, in Statistica Visual Basic, um, mid would be the function. If we were using .NET, VB.NET, then we would use a substring. Um, but mid is the equivalent of substring in VB. Um, Statistica BB. Okay, so I'm using the substring. So I, I use the split list and the element in that split list. And then I use the in string to be able to I, find the index of where the equal signs are. And then the la then I look for the last um, character using right. And then with that, I can use the mid function to find the, the number the in that split list. And then I convert that number, which is a text string, you know, it's part of text um, in the string. Um, I convert that to a double. That's what the CDBL is. Okay. So we're going to see if by um, converting the values in the split list um, to a double and then setting um, the whole row in this new spreadsheet S2 equal to that array, if that's going to be faster than using the regular expression and putting the cells one at a time equal to the items, the values of those items in the match collection. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I'm on the macro using split string. I'm gonna click the play button. Um, it's creating the spreadsheet and we'll see how long it takes to um, complete. It took 5.79 seconds. Okay, so this is a huge improvement over what we saw before. So let me Let's try that one more time because this is uh, doesn't take very long. We'll try it one more time. Um, get the play button and wait to see what the time is. 4.8 seconds. So an incredible savings on time by using the split string. Um, the, you can see that that for loop um, converting the match collection items to the cells is much more inefficient than using split um, to be able and then using changing each of the items in the split list to a double and then converting or transferring that whole array to this new spreadsheet at once. That is much more efficient. And so um, this was a huge revelation to me um, this last week. And I hope that you can find this useful in your data preparation phase um, to make it much more efficient so that you can get on to the data mining. So thank you for listening and I'll be back in a couple of weeks.